every day. I'm so impressed at how strong you are. That you were, there are not many brides who would spend months planning their big day and be entirely unfazed when their plans are turned completely around. All the most important moments of our lives have been marked by journeys. We met on a bus travelling down to Walsingham. We got engaged in the Camino. And whilst we've not been able to leave the house, we've definitely been on some journey over the last couple of months. I can't wait to embark on this next journey with you for the rest of our lives. I'd like a trapancy wedding to begin by looking back the way a little bit because over the last few years it's fair to say that Matthew and Hannah have spent a lot of time in this building and they have given a lot to our community here so I was delighted when they said that they wanted a natural mass to take place here. Matthew and Hannah, have you come here to enter into marriage without question, creed and will path? I have. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honour each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. May the Lord bless these rings that you will give to each other to sing for love and fidelity. That's cool in some way I get I get these put to the line of the Matthew received this way as a sign of my love and the birth in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What can I say about the beautiful bride? She knows her own mind. When she heard about her baby brother Matthew, she told us straight away, take him back. <laughs> She's a hard worker. She combined duty, a job, St Vincent de Paul, Project Truth, Night Fever, Children's Literary, etc. and still managed to find a young man had mother approved of. <laughs> when she and Orla set off to go to a youth retreat, I expected her to come home, fired up with the Holy Spirit, not besotted by a boy with dreads. As you all know, Matthew and I don't have any sisters, so Hannah, you're the big sister I never had. Like when you got me a jump in for my 17th birthday. <laughs> Show me some true sisterly love. Matthew asked today in particular, in particular that I put emphasis on how great a guy he is. So Matthew, from the heart, I can tell you that he's the funniest, 
most handsome. Oh, hang on. That needs a right. I just. <laughs> <laughs> You've probably noticed how I called him my friend there. That wasn't an acting. In all seriousness, I do see my brother as a best friend because we never fail to look out for each other, no matter what. Just to finish on a little quote from the book, The Little Prince, which I find relevant for you both. Love does not consist in gazing only at each other, but in looking outwards together in the same direction.